Morning. We're back in the Lake District this morning. Today we're in the northern part of the Lake District. We're north of Keswick in the fells behind Skiddo. So from the parking area the path follows Longlands Beck along the valley here. So this is quite a clear path heading up the valley here to the first fell of the day, which is a great cock up. So just past that cane, we turn right, take the path up to uh, Great Cock Up, getting some better views now as we're heading up. Skid all across there. So this is Great Cock Up at 526 metres or thereabouts. And that's looking straight across the skid over there. See Bassens Weight Lake down there. That's uh, Binzi across there, it's another Wainwright fell there. Boston's Weight Lake there. And a fantastic view of Skiddo there. So we're leaving Grey Cock up now. We're going to head to our second fell of the day, which is uh, Meal Fell. So the route uh, retraces our steps off Grey Cock up and up to uh, Meal Fell. So we're heading back down off uh, Grey Cock up, retracing our steps the way we came up. Then we we'll head up to uh, Meal Fell. Just straight opposite there, it's the second one of today. <laughs> There's Vince there. Cheers Vince, take care. So we've just been talking to a really nice lad there, Vince. 
who watches the videos. So thanks for watching Vince. It was uh, good to speak to you. I hope you're uh, enjoying your walk. He's doing uh, the same walk as us but in the opposite direction. So this is Miele Fell at around about 550 meters. Really good stone shelter here. Yes, yeah, so I think we'll have a coffee here now and shelter out the wind. So we've had a really nice break there in the shelter on Meal Fell. But now we're going to head to our third one of the day, which is Great Scar Fell. So from Meal Fell, the path drops a bit before heading up to uh, Great Scar Fell. It's looking back to Meal Fell there. So we're still heading up to Great Scarfell. Fantastic views now. So this is Great Scarfell, it's 651 metres thereabouts.
So from uh, Great Scarfell, we're now heading to uh, Nut, which will be our fourth one. So it's looking back to Great Scarfell there. It's been quite boggy coming across there. So this is not at 710 meters or thereabouts. So our fourth one of today and the highest point of the day. So that's Blencathra across there. And then Skiddo across there. So we're now leaving Knott and we'll retrace our steps back to uh, Great Scarfell and head towards the fifth one of the day which is Brayfell. Great views as we're heading along. Just see Bassenthwaite Lake down there. So this is Little Scarfell. It's not a Wainwright summit, but still really good views. Shelter there. So the path drops down from Little Scarfell and heads across to uh, Brayfell, which is straight in front of us. So this is Wainwright number five of the day. This is Brayfell at around about 586 metres. Impressive Ken. And really good views as well. Over water down there with Binzi behind there. So we'll leave it Bray Fell and heading to our sixth fell of the day, which is Longlands Fell. So this is Wainwright number six of the day. This is Longlands Fell. I think around about 483 metres or thereabouts. Really good views.
So the path is quite clear leading away from the summit of uh, Longlands Fell. Dropping back down. So we're down off the fells now. So now we'll just follow this track back to uh, Longlands where the car's parked. Right, so we're back in the parking area at Longlands. It's been a really good walk. So we've had a change of plans. Instead of driving home after finishing that previous walk, we've decided to drive the short distance to the bottom of Binsey and head up to Binsey, which is another Wainwright. So that'll give us seven Wainwrights today. So the path up to Binsey just heads straight up the fell from the car parking area. So still heading up to uh, Binsey but this is a good view of uh, the fells we've done earlier on today there, straight across there. So this is Binsey, weighing right number 7 for us today, at around 447 metres. Passenthwaite Lake across there. Let's get all. And then looking back down where we came up there. So we're heading back down from Binsey. Really impressive view from up there. So we're just following the path straight back down to where the car's parked, the way we came up. 